it was based on a book by uh, Robert Edsel, and it was a story, a World, a World War II story about a group of men and women, actually, who were uh, assigned by Roosevelt and Eisenhower to first initially make sure that as we prosecuted the war uh, in Europe, mm -hmm. particularly once we were marching through Italy, that we would try not to destroy some of the most important landmarks that existed along the way. And, and during that period of time, they also began to understand more and more how systematic uh, Hitler and the Nazis were stealing the art and much of the culture it, it itself from uh, uh, all of the countries that they were, that they were uh, defeating. We've been tasked with the finding and protecting of over five million pieces of stolen artwork. This is a model of his planned Führer Museum. It will be one of the biggest in the world. We need a lot of art to fill it. This is why Hitler didn't bomb Paris. Well, he bombed London. Yes, I know. <laughs> what started out as a, an attempt to make sure that we didn't harm great monuments along the way became sort of a treasure hunt in finding what ended up being five million pieces of stolen art and some of the most important pieces of art uh, in the world. How can I help you steal our stolen art? What was it about this particular story you wanted to pursue? Well, Grant and I just, Grant, who's my producing and writing partner, we were sitting on the floor of my office and I said, you know, every film we do is pretty cynical, pretty angry, unhappy ending kind of films that we appreciate and we like. And I said, we, we, I think we're the least cynical two people I know. I thought we should do something that's, you know, got a happy ending and do something that actually where the good guys win. Looks like we're going to be together, buddy. It's a tricky topic, isn't it? Fine art and mass audiences. You know, you say art to a lot of people, you know, yeah. mention Rembrandt, they start snoring. Their, their eyes just glaze over. And I have to say, I'm not a, I, I don't know that much about art myself. But what, what we came to understand about it was that, in telling the story, was that it was so much less about a specific piece of art and so much more about what uh, Hitler was trying to do, which was systematically not just kill you, mm. not just conquer you, but then to make it as if you never existed. They tell us that with this many people dying, who cares about art? They're wrong, because it's exactly what we're fighting for, for our culture and for our way of life. You can wipe out a generation of people, you can burn their homes to the ground and somehow they'll still come back. But if you destroy their achievements and their history, and it's like they never existed. It's just ash floating. That's what Hitler wants. It hasn't had universally good reviews. Yeah, we got thumped in the States. We've got, it was great in Germany, great in Italy. You know, sometimes I get, you get in the box. Um, I said at the premieres, they, they love it, they cheered. So I've been beat up a lot, you know. When I did Oh Brother, Where Art Thou, uh, Entertainment Weekly gave us an F. So it's the Good worst movie. Said the worst film of the century. I find that most of the films I've done usually start off a little creaky, and then as time goes on, they they, they pick up pace, and I'm fine with that. George, thanks very much. Thank you. Great very stuff. Much. Thank yeah, you, you very too. much.